In this video, we will show you how to perform a mission with the Trinity in the field. The flight mission is already planned in Cubase. In order to start, only a few adjustments to the local conditions are necessary. At first, put the laptop and the telemetry antenna out of the transport case. Turn on Cubase to be ready to connect to the Trinity and open the Cubase mission. The remote control stays in the transportation case or carry it by hand. Place the telemetry antenna on the roof of a car for better data link quality. In the next step, we will set up the Trinity at its takeoff position. At the designated takeoff position, open the transportation case and take out all the parts of the Trinity including the remote controller. Set up the Trinity as described in the manual. All parts are connected by a lock mechanism. No tools are required for the setup. Check all connections and ensure that the lock mechanism is in place. When done, connect the battery to the main body of the Trinity. The transportation case is the ideal takeoff position as it provides an elevated position and keeps the props clear of any objects like rocks and plants or dirt in general. Place the Trinity on the transportation box on the takeoff position, facing the desired transition direction towards the wind. When aligned, push the red power button on the top of the Trinity. An audio signal notifies you about the successful power up. The green LED light of the plane starts blinking. After switching on the aircraft, the Trinity connects to the Q base automatically. Now switch on the remote control transmitter. The Trinity should be connected within seconds. When the RC link and the flight data link in Cubase are established, the airspeed is displayed on the transmitter and in Cubase. To make sure that the airspeed sensor works correctly, blow at the pilot tube carefully. The value for airspeed should change on the RC controller. Rudder check. Take the RC and move the right stick to the sides to check the ailerons. Move the same stick up and down to check the elevator. If the stick configuration was changed, use the left stick to check the ailerons and the elevator. Do not fly if one of the three rudders is not moving. When the Trinity is connected to Cubase, it is displayed on the map of Cubase. Moreover, the connection status is indicated by the yellow and green graph in the header section of Cubase. In order to check the camera open payload info in Cubase and use the trigger payload button. If the camera works correctly, it emits a shutter sound and the picture count in the header section of the RC transmitter and in the header section of Cubase counts up. Upload the flight plan to the Trinity. Select Right Flight Plan. The window is closed automatically after 5 seconds. Pre-flight check on the remote control. The plane will self-check and initialize the attitude and position algorithms during the pre-flight check. Initiate the pre-flight check by tapping the button on the remote control. The home waypoint is automatically adjusted to the real takeoff position. Now we do the final check on Cubase. Before we start with our mission, it is necessary to check our pre-planned mission on Cubase for inconsistencies. Make sure the direction of the displayed aircraft matches the transition cone and make sure that the transition cone is free of any obstacles. Additionally, make sure that the retransition track is also free of obstacles. Proceed with the arming process. The arming process starts the motors for takeoff. First, select arm on the display of the transmitter. Second, Confirm the arming process by selecting Yes. Abort the process by selecting No. Third, the motors start running at idle. 
Make sure the motors are spinning freely. If the spinning of the motors emits an untypical sound, turn off the motors. Furthermore, make sure all three motors are tilted upwards. Takeoff. Select takeoff on the display and confirm the takeoff by selecting yes on the remote control display. The Trinity will now start its mission and climb to the transition altitude as set in Cubase. When the transition altitude is reached and if the direction of the Trinity corresponds with the direction of the transition cone as set in Cubase, the transition phase will be initialized. A safety pilot who is able to control the plane with the help of the remote control is always required. In case of an emergency situation, be prepared to take over and control the Trinity manually in stabilized mode. The transmitter must be held by the pilot during the whole flight time. After the last waypoint, the Trinity returns to the retransition waypoint and enters the descent circle in order to reach the retransition altitude. When the altitude is reached, the retransition is performed. The Trinity is in hover mode at this waypoint. It will hover 10 meters above the ground. In order to land it, just carefully pull the left throttle stick toward you in order to land the Trinity manually. After the Trinity has landed, keep the throttle stick down for 3 seconds to turn off the system. On the transmitter, the message, flight finished, is displayed. The Trinity can only be switched off by disconnecting the battery. Turn off the remote control by pressing the power button. Shut down Cubase and disassemble the Trinity by pushing the lock mechanism buttons and simultaneously pulling the parts apart. Check all parts of the Trinity for damages. Store the parts inside the transportation box. For storage and transportation, leave the battery disassembled from the Trinity. That is all that is necessary to successfully perform a mission with the Trinity. For further information and troubleshooting, please consult the user manual or contact your reseller. Thank you for watching.